Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiryawan and today we're going to talk about this awesome lens, the Olympus 75mm f1.8. Before we continue with the video, this is just a quick reminder for you to support my channel by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and sharing this video to your friends and family. Let's continue with the video. So Christmas is coming and with a fully decorated Christmas tree inside your house, now is the right time for you to take some nice bokeh pictures. Bokeh. A bokeh picture is basically a picture with a nice creamy soft background blur. On a bokeh picture, if you're able to find some lights to put in the background when the lights are blurred, they're gonna turn into what we call a bokeh ball. Bokeh balls. To make a nice bokeh picture, all you need to do is get an object that you want to shoot with, place the object as close as you can to the camera and as far as you can from the Christmas tree. You'll instantly get a nice bokeh picture with the Christmas tree as your background to provide some bokeh ball. All you need right now is just a lens that can amplify the bokeh effect to the max. Maximum. Speaking about bokeh, today I want to talk about this little bokeh monster, the Olympus 75mm f1.8. So this lens is basically a medium telephoto lens with a large aperture of f1.8. Since this lens cannot zoom, this is basically a prime lens. The focal length, 75mm or 150 in full frame terms, is basically a medium telephoto focal length. This lens will give you a tighter field of view that is excellent for portrait-like stuff. But since the field of view is a little bit zoomed in with this lens, this is actually not an everyday general purpose lens. This lens is actually more of a specialty lens. The Olympus 75mm is actually as big as the Panasonic 12 to 35mm f2.8 or the Panasonic 14 to 140mm f3.5 to f5.6. They are really not that big when they are compared with lens of similar specifications, although they are slightly large for a micro four thirds lens. With the combination of large aperture and long focal length, this lens is actually an ideal portrait lens. And at the same time, it is also a nice bokeh monster. monster. There are three main things when you want to get a nice extreme bokeh picture. So one, you need a large aperture, two, you need a long focal length, and three, your object needs to be as far away from the background as possible. And the Olympus 75mm is actually an ideal lens for that because it has two of the three things that I just mentioned. One is a large aperture and two long focal length. So you can easily use this lens for extreme bokeh shots. Extreme bokeh shots. As I mentioned earlier, the Olympus 75mm is a specialty lens that you don't use for general purpose everyday lens. And I also mentioned that this lens is the perfect bokeh monster lens to get the extreme bokeh shots. Especially when you have Christmas tree in your house and you get that bokeh balls from the Christmas tree lights. But this lens isn't just for that bokeh balls kind of shot. You can actually use this lens for so many different purposes. Like you can use it for tight headshot, for portrait, for concert photography for product photography and so many other different applications and if you have screw on macro adapter for your lens like the one that I have right here you can even take some extreme macro shot using the Olympus 75 millimeter so as you can see the possibility is actually endless you just have to be really creative when using this lens to get some interesting results and that is actually what I like the most about this lens trying to force me to be very creative to think about the shots that I'm going to take so that I can and get a very interesting result. Now with that out of the way, now let's talk a little bit about the specification and the performance of this lens. As you no doubt have guessed, this lens actually performs really wonderfully and it is an excellent lens. Excellent. As I mentioned earlier, this lens is actually not small for a micro thirds lens. It is the same size as the 12-35mm as I mentioned before. But this lens is actually not that big when compared to a lens of different formats of the same specification. And also, this lens is not as big as the Olympus Pro lenses lineup. This lens has an all-metal build. 
and that makes this lens very sturdy and rugged. Although the lens is slightly large for a micro fortress lens, it actually weighs only 300 grams which is pretty light for a lens of this specification. 300 grams is coincidentally the same weight of the Panasonic 12-35mm f2.8. The size and the weight of these two lenses are very similar, it's like they're a perfect pair. Not just that, I personally think that these two lenses should be paired together because they complement each other. <laughs> One lens has a wider to normal field of view and the other one complements it with a longer focal length and large aperture. And when they're combined together into a kit, they'll turn into something very powerful that will cover any focal length from normal wide to medium telephoto with large aperture. Excellent. Now let's move on with some features of this lens. This lens doesn't have any interesting features at all. What comes in the box is just a lens with the front cap and the rear cap, that's all. There's no lens hood, no fancy switches, and actually you have to purchase the lens hood if you need the lens hood separately. The only thing that you can control in this lens is the manual focus ring. Now that makes this lens a very straightforward lens to use in micro forter system. Now let's briefly talk about autofocus of this lens. Now the autofocus of this lens isn't actually that slow but it is not as instantaneous as some other lenses for micro four thirds. But I personally don't think that the autofocus is any issue at all. With that out of the way, let's talk about performance. The sharpness of this lens is really good from f2.8 all the way to f5.6 but even wide open at f1.8 it's actually already sharp enough for most of my needs but i think i need to emphasize that at all apertures this lens will deliver amazing sharp detail result this is actually one of the best micro four thirds lens when it comes to sharpness oh my god there's not a lot of vignetting when using this lens and also distortion is very minimum. Compression however should be expected for lens of this focal length. I should note that you will find a little bit of chromatic aberration when you're shooting with uncorrected bodies like Olympus cameras. But if you're shooting with Panasonic camera, there's no problem with chromatic aberration at all. If you happen to find chromatic aberration on your copy of the lens if you're shooting with Olympus camera, all you need to do is just stop it down a little to f2.8 or f4 and the chromatic abrasion will be gone. Another thing to keep in mind is that this lens is not actually weather sealed at all. So be careful when using this lens on some bad weather conditions. So now we come to the conclusion of this review. Is the lens worth it? For its price, I think it's worth its value so much. This is one of the sharpest lens in micro four thirds and it's also one of the best when it comes to producing great image quality. But the thing is, it's not priced as expensive as Olympus Pro lenses. So I think if you can live with the slightly longer focal length of this lens, you'll get a really good value when you're choosing this lens to be your professional portrait lens. In my opinion, Olympus should have put the name Pro in this lens because the kind of result that you can get from this lens is actually very pro. But I'm actually glad that Olympus don't put the word Pro in this lens because that will otherwise increase the price very high. Other thing that you need to know is that this lens is actually coming from an older generation of micro four thirds lens. But even though it's old, it actually holds up pretty well when compared with modern micro four thirds lenses. So no matter if you're a pro or an amateur, I think this lens deserves to be in your camera bag when you need the specification of this lens. Excellent. So that is all for today's video. I hope you find this video to be useful. Please comment down below if you have any question regarding about this Olympus 75mm lens. Also, don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, by subscribing to my channel down below, and by sharing this video to your friends and family. Thank you and goodbye.